G'day folks, up for autopsy today, or at the moment I should say, we have a Stork SC15 thermocontroller, or thermo, um, thermostatic switch. Uh, you can set your cutout point and everything like that, it's quite neat, but unfortunately someone's cut the uh, sensing line off when they cut the rest of the machine out of the, the factory, like the green box down in the corner there is what it came out of. You would have seen in previous video. Uh, yeah, they made quite a mess of it, and uh, unfortunately, this thing's pretty much dead. I can't use it. So, I've figured out how to open it, and should just be able to push like that. There we go. Okay, so how is it hooked up? Yeah, as you can see, that line goes in through here and into one of these coils. The other end is, that's probably the charging point there where they fill it and then seal it. But yeah, these coils here need a certain amount of pressure inside them relative to whatever temperature the sensing bulb's at. So trying to recharge it and reconfigure it at home is kind of futile. Um, as you can see, when you adjust your cutout, these switches move, and these switches are aligned on a, it's almost like a scroll or a cam. So as this internal assembly moves, I can find a screwdriver. Yeah, so that collar there is the actual temperature needle. So let's set it to 50. And you can hear, because it's getting within range, it's triggering. In theory, this could still be used for something, but it's not accurate as an instrument. So I'll set that to 100. And it triggers at a hundred. So it does still work, it's just a matter of working out what um, pressure charge this thing takes at ambient. Uh, I imagine that'd be fairly tricky to do outside of the factory. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know because well, I don't see much point in stripping this down any further. You can see how it works, there's two micro switches that one there is fixed, I think. What would that be? That's probably a cutout, like high temp cutout, over temp. And uh, the other one's adjustable. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's what's inside one of these industrial uh, temperature controllers. Yeah, shame that they cut the ends off them, I guess. Don't know. Really don't know what could be done to save it. I don't think much, to be honest. So anyway, they can all just go in the junk pile for now, and unless someone's got any great ideas on how to fix them, because there's two of them, uh, they're junk. Might as well just cut the rest of the copper, copper lead off and throw the rest in the bin. So yeah. That's that one done, and thanks for watching.